Today is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021, and we're here to do live chat. And we're just gonna wait for people to get notifications and come into the room. Also, let me move some stuff. And pull you all up on my phone. <laughs> notifications off. All right. <laughs> All right, we got a few people in here chatting to each other. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Hope you all been having some great days. I have been constantly moving stuff from one place to the next, so I'm tired. <laughs> Phyllis G was here saying hi T and everyone. Jill Thomas saying hello to Phyllis. Brenda Foley says good evening from Kentucky. Uh, Jackie K is here saying hello friends. Working on my swap blocks today. Now that's awesome. Kim Burris says hello T and quilt family. Vivian Cavi says hi T and everyone. Jill says I didn't think I ever made a Tuesday live that if she'd ever make a Tuesday Live. That's what I think she's saying. Mary says, hi everyone. I missed the Zoom because Marty had a wreck on the way home from St. Louis. She's okay, 4,000 worth of damage. Oh my gosh, I'm glad she's okay. That's the most important thing, but it's always awful when you're uh, going through situations like that. So hopefully she'll continue to be okay. Lane Doucette's reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Sent a nice pretty flower, that's cute. <laughs> So, yeah, she says to her car, the damage was to her car. <clears throat> Katrina is here saying hello, Miss T and Quilty friends. Um... Barbara Polk says, hi there, everyone. So P.K. Williams says, hi, T. Hi, everyone. She says, prayers, praying or prayers. Uh, Sin Forrest is here saying, hello, TNT Quilters. Uh, Mary says, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Just very shook up. Um, Diane 57 says, hi, T and Quilting Friends. Hi, Diane. And Jill says, so glad your daughter is um, I'm thinking she's saying okay. Katrina says I'm ironing my third quilt, so I'm only going to be listening. Um, Leetta Bryan says hi T and T quilters. Janice says hi. T Janice Miller says hi T and T quilters from sunny California. Betsy is here says hey Miss T and T quilters. Happy Tuesday. Deborah Sims Brown says hi T and everyone from Maryland. I almost missed you again. <laughs> Judy Judy is here saying hello T and quilters. Kim says I got all pieces cut and marked for six inch star box star blocks. That's pretty cool. Angela Stringer says good evening T and T folk. Um, Judy Plaster says hi everybody. Have a good evening. <laughs> Lynette Williams says, good evening. I hit the thumbs up when I first get the notification. That way I don't forget. That's nice. Uh, Michelle Tate says, hello, working on a quilt from Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, Michelle. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you popping a comment in the box to chat with us. Remo's here saying, good evening, Miss T and Quilters. Tiffany's Quilting Life is here, says hello Mrs. T and friends. Hi Tiffany and Scott. <laughs> um, Electric Carey says hello T and everyone. A lot of people are saying hi to each other, so I've just skipped a lot of those. So, yeah, I don't have an agenda because the stuff I'm doing is not anything to be talking about on YouTube other than I just have a huge mess. <laughs> Um, I have my quilt group. They're coming 
on Saturday. So I have been, I have been most of the year. This year has not gone as I had intended. In January, I had intended to reorganize some stuff in my room. And then life always happens. And so things started occurring that took me away from that after I had started pulling stuff out. And stuff is still continuing to happen. So I'm doing the best I can with what I'm working with. And then also, you know, doing business things as well, trying to make sure I'm staying on top of business things. So um, I had been putting things in order pretty good up till yesterday when I just decided, you know what, you just need to move this stuff. <laughs> so I'm in the process of like just moving stuff to put it somewhere and then my I'm putting them into like large plastic containers and then what I'll do is I'll go through the one a, a container at a time or something and start working on the container at a time. That's the only thing I can think to do at this point because it's like you can't get it all done in a week if you couldn't do it since January. So that's what I'm currently working on. I haven't done any sewing since Saturday's sew chat. If you missed Saturday's uh, sewing, sewing chat, I did find the fabric for my uh, quilt top that I'm making from the fabrics that Judy Judy sent to me. And I just haven't had time to make the binding. The binding's going to be put on on my long arm just because it's easier to manipulate. And then I can finish it off on this machine when, I'm, when I get it to the front. So I haven't done that. I haven't done the labels for the t-shirt quilts. I'm hoping that once I get the people in and out of my house next week, I'll get that type of stuff done. Um, if I can't sleep or something one night, maybe I'll put the binding on the quilt, but... Uh, I haven't done anything sewing wise uh, as far as uh, actual machines. I've been cleaning sewing wise, but other than that, no. <laughs> uh, let me go back. A lot of people have just come in and commenting. I know Electric Curry came in, says, oh, I think I saw that one. Hello, T and everyone. Uh, Sue is here. Say good evening, T and fellow cultures from beautiful St. Louis. I wouldn't know. I've only been outside. I did go outside because I sold a barbecue grill and the people came today and I had to go out back and uh, make sure that they, well, they can't get my other one, but I had to make sure they got the right one. They can't take my other one though. But I just sold it for $10 because I just wanted somebody to move it off my property, you know. Uh, everything with like when you have large trash you have to pay to get rid of it it's just easier to either give it away for free or sell it really cheap to get rid of it so that's what I did uh, Tom Eckery is here saying hey TNT quilters hit subscribe and thumbs up for Miss T thank you Tom and thinking of you Tom I did get a chance to look at the papers that you sent me and it will work however uh, Diana gave me a Bernina case and inside of that Bernina case she had a flatbed thing that fits this machine like if it was sitting into the table which I'll show you it's right here and it can't be modified to put the feet on it but I'm thinking I'll just use this for a template I didn't even know I had this I was uh, talking on the phone to Deborah Quilts and said look what's in this bag I was so happy and uh, glad to see this and if I ever, because I have always wanted to like cut into this desk, I just haven't done it yet. Or I may not do it. I may end up getting a different uh, desk system eventually. Um, but I do have this now, so I don't have to buy that. And then this is what I'm going to cut. I'm going to modify this one. That was for another Bernina that she had. And I've got the feet. The feet come off on this and I do have all the feet so I think I just need to go to a window place and see if they can cut this for me because I don't have the uh, tools to cut that without it cracking I don't know how to cut plexiglass so thanks Tom for everything I did use your templates to make sure that it was uh, the right thing and I also put it on here to make sure it was the right thing so thank you so much now I just got to find time to drop it off. <laughs> C. 
see Rex is here saying good evening tea and friends. Hello to you. Sin says, I'm taking a quick break from cleaning out closet. Yikes, lots of stuff. Need to purge. And that's, you know, <laughs> the more I was telling Kevin, uh, I think it was yesterday. No, earlier today. He was asking me how was it going and all of that. And I said, you know what? I'm like real disgusted with myself at this point. It's it's ridiculous. And it's like, I don't know. It's like <laughs> when to say no. <laughs> just don't bring another thing into this house. You know, just crazy. I found, uh, I knew I had fabric, but I had forgot that I had moved those bags because I had to move stuff in order to put in new shelving units. And then I forgot that I had moved that stuff. So when I'm starting to put stuff back, I came back across stuff that I hadn't even gone through. I've gone through probably 12 boxes that I use. I use just like uh, banker's boxes, the smaller boxes. So they're not like huge boxes. But I bet you I've gone through like 12 boxes of it, fabrics. They could have been scraps. They could have been yardage, whatever. I just was tossing stuff into these boxes. And then when I start coming across these bags, I just couldn't even handle it. I just put them bags in the room for right now. And I said, I'll have to go through that stuff later. And the, and the only reason I'm just not saying I'm just going to donate this somewhere like to that Missouri Correctional Center somewhere is <laughs> because I found my, um, but my K-Facet fabrics that I was looking for in one of those bags. So I want to make sure that I didn't put anything in those bags that I do need to finish a project. But I think uh, I may be calling somebody to see if they can take a large donation because I'm like, I'm sick of looking at this stuff. And I think, <laughs> and it's really sad because it's all pretty stuff, but I just, it's just too much. I'm overwhelmed right now. So I think I just need a couple of days break of sorting. So what I'm just going to do is just go into clean mode. I'm just going to clean stuff for them. So that's what I'm currently doing. I just shampooed a carpet today. So I, I don't like cleaning either because my mom worked us like we were, uh, we were her free employees. We didn't get paid for chores. You just got money with, and you were going to do them. So there was no option of I'm not going to do the chores <laughs> we just she just gave us money when we needed it so it wasn't like we did them for an allowance you you don't have a choice when my mom when she tell you to do something you just do it and and immediately <laughs> uh Damali J is here saying hi T and T quilters Remo saying what does your shirt say T <clears throat> this is a whole lot of stuff on this shirt girl I don't know queens J queens are born in July and then it's got like different features, I think, of people born in July, highly centric, extra tough, and super sarcastic, <laughs> bold since birth. We'll keep it real. Well, that's true. 100% <laughs> something. I don't know. We'll keep it real. Let's see. Fiercely loyal until you aren't. We'll beat you at your own game. Perfect mixture of sweetheart and warrior. <laughs> Say the most accurate facts. Master of walking away. <laughs> and difficult to get to know and impossible to forget. <laughs> So I think it's just top 10 characteristics. A lot of them could be true. It just depends on a given day and time. <laughs> but it says t a whole lot on this shirt. Tiffany, thank you so much. She's welcoming everyone coming into the live chat. And don't forget to give T a thumbs up. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, Bonita Nance is here saying hi, Miss T and everyone watching on the big screen tonight. That's funny. <laughs> um. Diane said something, uh, oh, Kathy is in, I think she's talking about Kathleen, I forget her last name, I want to say Champ, I don't know. Kathy is in rehabilitation, has already started rehabilitating, that's awesome. More prayers for her as well. Janet Macro says hi TNT Quilters. June Hansen is here saying hi T and everyone. Phyllis G came back, we read you at 6.33, she said hi to everyone. 
And Remo's also reminding people to hit the thumbs up. And Kim also says, uh, thanks for the update. That's wonderful. Maria Mayers came in, says, hello, Miss T and T Quilters. Wanda DeRosiers says, hello. Hello to you as well. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you coming and putting a chat in. Vanessa Brown says, hi, T and all. Mary says, Kathy, she's in terrible pain, but that probably is to be expected, I'm sure. Uh, Kim says, I got my car fixed finally. Yay. <laughs> Uh, so pink a william says that's nice i need laughing out loud one of those with feet yes and i got when i opened the bag up i didn't know that it was in there because she had two other ones that wouldn't fit this machine the one i have and then another one but she had two pieces of thin cardboard and that that one piece was in between the cardboards i was so happy to see that <laughs> um Tiffany is also giving you all the link to join the Facebook group. And she's reminding people to answer the three questions to join. Um, I got somebody sitting there now because they didn't answer the three questions. They just said, yes, I'm a quilter. Well, a spammer will say, yes, I'm a quilter. So you, you sit there until I find time to go and research and see if you are really a quilter. So I don't have time for that right now. So. Uh, you sit there or eventually I'll just decline if I get too many people. So please answer the three questions. Claudette Bettis came in saying hi to you and everyone. Tom says, wow, talking about the uh, table. That will work great as the template. You'll love it. It's much better than the Bernina one. Yeah, this one, you lean on it. It has no feet. And it's just not very stable at all. And then they had one that was plexiglass that was the more stable. It didn't have feet. I don't know if it had feet. I can't remember. But everybody that has these plastic ones do not like that from Bernina. So everybody is kind of complaining. Thanks, Kim, for reminding people to thumbs up, share, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications. Oh, Remo J uh, says, take it to Lowe's. They'll cut it. Okay. I didn't know if the hardware stores would cut it if you didn't buy it. See, that's what I didn't know. Because I have my piece already. That's why I was thinking I need to go to a window place. Uh, Cynthia Shea says, good evening to all from Chicago. Hi, Cynthia. Darso says, good evening, TNT Quilters. I hope everyone is having a great evening. Carissa Renninger says, hiya, everyone. Hello to you as well. <laughs> Mary talking about you looking skinny, T. I ain't that skinny. <laughs> I think I have lost about, like in the past, it's been two years, it's been a slow weight loss. Because uh, it's like, it'll slow down and then it'll pick back up. But I ain't lost but like 30 pounds total. And then I look up and I'm fluctuating up and down between like 28 and 30. So I haven't lost a lot, but I'm trying to work on it. Just trying not to eat everything I want to eat. Anita says, use a fiberglass drill blade. My husband did mine when I had to switch from Singer to Janome. Okay, I'll just take a picture of that because I don't know what that is. If I, I'll find it, look up and see. Sin says, I know I, know I got to use like some painter's tape or something like that to put on it before I cut. I do realize that part so it doesn't crack. But other than that, I have no idea. I have so much stuff that I can't find anything <laughs> that's sin. Um, yeah, I don't think um, I have very short attention span when it comes to quilt projects because I'm a project junkie. So once I do it for a while, then I get really bored and then I go, OK, it's time for me to go do something else. <laughs> and so that's the kind of stuff that I'm finding. And so. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just disgusted right now with myself. And that's because I'm currently looking at all of it. And I think if I can figure out how to get it all organized where it's usable, I'll be fine. But right now, I'm just kind of disgusted. I got a, a, a shelving unit in that room that I need to redo the shelves for. It used to be my scrapbook only room, but quilting is taking over now. And that's the problem. So Pink says, I'm having serious freeze issues. Oh, Lord, it's storming outside, shaking in my head. Oh, my gosh. Be safe. Make sure you're not in the tornado warning or something. 
uh Leada says I've been cleaning my sewing room for a year <laughs> okay Leada thanks <laughs> that makes me feel a little better sometimes on zoom I'll show you my fabric tub towers <laughs> <laughs> I know they probably are massive. <laughs> that is funny. I have tub towers too from Carissa. Um, that is hilarious. And uh, Diane to my Eric wants donations. Girl, when I start getting rid of this stuff, it's going to be uh, to the closest place, the cheapest I can get it to somebody. Um. And he don't want, I mean, it's a, it's, this is ridiculous, but that's a good place to uh, send some stuff to if they need stuff like that. So, and it's right here in Missouri. So a lot of people saying hi to everybody else. Thank you, Remo. I do as the foot of my bed on top of my armoire, et cetera. That's funny. <laughs> And Remo something else talking about Libra. I pay you for. I don't know if I want to do another one of these because this one's got a lot of text on it. Um, and then it's like the two tone colors and stuff. It's a pain. It was a pain in the butt. I don't know. Um, Darlene Crosby's here saying hello, T and T Quilters. Sharon Lewis says hi, T and Quilters from Washington D.C. Hello, Sharon. Welcome. Jill says, uh-oh, Iron Man is not feeling well. Hope he feels better soon. Quilt Gail says, hi, T and everyone from Humid Hop, Maryland. Just picked three tomatoes, grocery bags full of zucchini, yellow squash, and cucumbers. Now, that's awesome that your uh, garden's doing well. Some people are now getting too much rain, and it's starting to kill off some of their stuff. So I'm glad you got some good crop. Carissa making random stitching lines on this quilt because I have no idea what to do on it. The live will distract me from thinking too hard about it. <laughs> Wanda says, I'm the one question person. Sorry. I'm the one question person. Did she answer, ask a question and I missed it? I hope I didn't, but that's fine. No problem. You do what you want to do. I was just uh, happy to welcome you to the group. Can you give, can you glue empty spools to the bottom? I have the feet, uh, Diane. I have the feet. And she's talking about the one that doesn't have it. Um, I don't know if it'll be the right height, but I guess anything could be glued to it. But I actually have one that has feet. It just needs to be recut. And I think that's probably the better way to go. And then I can keep that one for whenever I get a desk that has an inset so I could um, have it be flushed to the desk. I already have it. And then Katrina says, our Home Depot cuts plexiglass. I know that they cut plexiglass, but I don't know if they will cut something that I bring in. This is very obvious that I'm not, um, that it's not something I'm buying. It's got Bernina on it. It's got a tape ruler on it and everything like that. So that's what I'm concerned about. Join the club with the weight right there with you. That's cool, girl. Yep. Um. Mary saying, wow, T, that's wonderful. You look absolutely super. Well, thank you. I could tell my face get fat and everything, so I'm just trying to watch it. Like I said, I'm not on a diet. I'm just trying to eat healthier and not eat all day. So I'm doing, first I was not eating all day, and now I'm trying to eat healthier, except that I took myself off salt. <laughs> and I think that was part of the problem when I got dehydrated. Um, that I need some salt because I took myself off. I'd say I probably was only getting probably about 5% of my salt daily intake, if that, because I took myself off salt. And so I got salt and stuff that was already salted. Like if I ate a piece of bread or ate a cracker or two, that's how I kind of got salt. But I didn't eat a lot of processed foods other than bread and crackers because I knew that processed food has a lot of salt in it. So when I started eating healthy, I messed up my, uh, I think I messed up my electrolyte. So 
I feel much better now that I put salt back in my diet. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sue says, on my so steady table for my fall, I broke one of the feet, so I put a jelly roll to replace the broken foot. That's funny. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, Sin says, T, today I worked on a UFO from 1987. Yikes. Now, I have been working on my UFOs, and I started doing some of the older ones. I can't remember now. What year my oldest one is, but I didn't start quilting until 1994. So I, you got me covered as far as how far back, but I'm trying to like, I was trying to like finish some of the older ones, but I'm actually working on newer UFOs now. Brenda says, I'm the same way, T. My favorite part is starting a new one. Yes. And I, and I was telling you all previously that I love to piece. I'm really a piecer. I have never really considered myself a quilter because I really just love the piece. I could care less about quilting. I like to see them finished, but I don't necessarily have to do it because those are not my favorite parts. My favorite part is piecing a quilt. And Lee, Lietta says, T, I feel your pain. Emily is here saying hello. <laughs> Deborah Quilts is here saying hello, T and all T quilters. T, do you need some help? Um... I don't know. I'll talk to you, Deborah. I'll talk to you. If I clean it, I can, if I clean it, I can find anything. Oh, can't find anything. That's what she meant. Because I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's normally true because I do really good in organized chaos. But right now I have disorganized chaos because when the other areas were not clean then i started piling i got stuff that's just been stored over here in this corner that's just going up like it's going up to the ceiling and some of those are plastic containers that were housed on the shelving unit and when i went in there to put them on the shelf it's like i put something else in its space so i got to like go through the shelving unit but i'm not pulling another thing off until i get all this other stuff put somewhere because <laughs> it's getting on my nerves because otherwise I feel like I'm going to take everything and just toss it in the trash can and nobody is going to get anything because that's what I tend to do if I get very overwhelmed with something. I just, I say the best way for me to get rid of it is to put it in the trash on trash day and then I can't take it back, <laughs> which is terrible, but that's what happens. Um, Remo is sandwiching her quilt today. That's pretty cool. It's a very nice quilt. My idea of cleaning is sweeping the room with a glance. You got that right. I hate it. I hate clean. I'm a, what I really hate in cleaning is dusting. I can do everything else. I don't mind shampooing carpets, sweeping floors, washing dishes. I can, to a certain extent, I, I do some, I, I kind of like furniture polish just a little bit. I like the smell of it, I think. They got the fragrances in it. Uh, but other than that, mm-mm. But I hate dusting for real, for real. And the saga of comic book boards continue laughing out. Yes, because I still got a box. I got one box down here of stuff that still needs to be wrapped. I wrapped fabric during the Zoom. And, uh, yeah, I still got a box. And I haven't even touched the, um, I don't know if you all recall when I bought quilt backs from Linda's Electric Quilt. And I got something about Linda's Electric Quilt I'll talk about in a minute, too. Um, but I haven't even put those up. So I got about six, about four battings from her. And then I bought two when I was, Kevin and I went to Wood River, Illinois at the quilt shop that was closing. I bought two backings from her. So I got like at least six backings that need to be put up. And I'm not going to wrap those on boards. I'm just going to put those in my china cabinet. But it's always something. I got, I just got stuff. It's ridiculous. Um, Linda's electric quilter. I got an uh, email notification today that they are no longer gamble dealers. And uh, the email that they sent out seemed like it was the same sort of email that my person that I bought my machine from. They were number one sellers in the gamble industry. He fixing all kinds of stuff. He's selling all kinds of machines. And then they get a notification from the new owners 
that this was when the new owners first took over too, that they're, that they don't uh, want them to be gamble dealers anymore. And I don't know why that happened. They don't know why it happened. They don't give them any further information. And apparently this has now happened to Linda's electric quilters, which I find to be very strange because she was the four quilter for Gamble. She was the face of the long arm quilting machine for Gamble, showing people how to do all these different stitches and making writing books and everything. And now she's no longer affiliated with Gamble. So it's a lot of changes going on around the world. And I have no idea why and what's going on, but my heart just dropped for them because they are prolific Gamble promoters. I bet you they probably got in the store probably got at least two or three gamels and then of course they got gamels at home i'm sure corey has one at home i'm sure that uh, linda probably has one or two at home ain't no telling how many machines linda got but that's just sad to hear when i got that email so really um just letting you all know that they're so that they're not going to be uh i don't know if they're going to still fix machines they didn't say that but they definitely are not dealers to be, uh, they won't be selling machines. And that's what uh, my person is. Uh, so technically, he's not a service person for Gamma. But if my machine has a problem, I know he's a Gamma expert. I'm going to have him fix my machine because <laughs> he's local. I'm not going to go three hours away from my home to take my machine in. So I'm not doing that. It's just sad how stuff is changing around so much. Sandy San Sanchez says, hi, T and everyone. She says something about she did something to her clothes so I could have room for my fabric. She says, I can con married. So she must have collapsed, uh, reduced or combined. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that word. Sean Hickman says, good evening, everyone. I'm a little late. Hello. Welcome. Debbie O'Brien's here says, hello all from the UK. Welcome to you as well, Debbie. Hello all coming into the chat from Tiffany. Thanks, Tiffany, for being the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> Deborah says, my sewing studios are clean in the process of cleaning my basement. Kevin says, I just landed and I get to see our reigning queen of scraps for a few minutes. Evening tea quilters. Hey, Kevin, I said, I had just texted him and said, I'm going to miss you tonight. <laughs> Beverly Aiken says, hello, tea and everyone. Diane say, buy some plexiglass. I'm not buying any plexiglass. <laughs> I got one right here. I don't know what I'm buying it for. Sue says, I use Gravoy glass at Gravoy and Loughborough in the past. Very nice people. I do have a glass company in my area. I've had them redo my... Um, my window screens when the bugs or the squirrels keep tearing them up. I think it's more the squirrels, not the birds. Uh, but I do uh, have one in my neighborhood. I've just never asked them to do anything that wasn't dealing with an uh, actual window. So I'm going to try them first and see if they'll cut it. Otherwise, I'll start branching out. Um... Let's see. June says, I've been cleaning my sewing room because it took me a day to find my red fabric. So got some bins and putting in my projects in them. So it's starting to look better and found five more UFOs. Right. And that's the other thing that's happening to me. It's like I'm moving stuff. And then when I start like a piece of bag and then I, I go through the top third of it, I pick out a top third and then I put it on a, a table so I can sew it. And then it's like, well, where did this come from? And where did this come from? What are you doing in here? And it's like, I can't handle this right now. I put it all back in the bag. <laughs> all the boxes have been accounted for except for the box that I created for, um, I, I had a box that I was had fabric in that needs to be wrapped. So I just got one banker's box. And then I've got about maybe two or three large, uh, like, bags that you get like tote bags carry bags the plastic kind you recycle 
I got about three of those that's got stuff in it. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. And that's where I found my fabric in one of those bags. <laughs> so Ella Odoms here says, good evening, Miss T and T Quilters. Hey, Ella. Uh, Cam says, I'm yawning like crazy. I haven't been sleeping much and it's catching up with me. Yeah, I do that. I go through phases where I can just sleep all day. I don't, then I'm up all night. <laughs> Oh, Kevin's so bad. Talking about, do I get the Ellen Campbell Award for most unique place to watch Miss T's live, laughing out loud? No, I think Ellen still won. <laughs> you may be at the airport or in a plane uh, waiting, but <laughs> Ella's something else. <laughs> uh, I found my rotary pinking blade, and I've been looking for it for over three years. That's Sue. That's funny. Now, I do keep that kind of stuff organized. Is anyone familiar with the Janome 1600P? Not me. I have. I don't have a Janome machine. Melissa LePay says, step away from the trash can. I will send money for post-its. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, and, and Bonita says, I hate Dustin too. Luckily, my husband loves it. Yes. And I think I just hated it. My mom was no joke. Um, the first three rooms in our house, living room, dining room, and my mom's bedroom were all wood paneled from floor to ceiling. And we had to dust that every week. It wasn't that it needed it every week. It was because it was eight children and you were going to do something. So everybody had a job to do on that Saturday and you weren't getting out the door until it was done. And so we had to dust that paneling from floor to ceiling and she would check up on it too. It wasn't like you just did it and left. Mm -mm. <laughs> So, Lizette's Zayas is here saying hi, T and friends watching on the big screen while I test setting blocks for the 2021 mystery quilt by oh, Editor Sitar. So she's doing that. Okay, that's the one I did, but I haven't figured out if I want to put a border on it. I, I just got bags of stuff. Okay. <laughs> And Lietta's asking, Kevin, do you like feed sacks? And I even found a few feed sack bags. I said, I, I don't, I think I must have bought them because I don't see anybody giving away antique feed sack bags. But I don't think I'm going to be doing anything with them. But for right now, I just put them to the side. I did find a, more, a few more Crown Royal bags. I think I need like 150 or something. And I think I got now like 113. So I'm getting closer. And Diane says she's familiar with the Janome 1600, so I'm sure that they'll start talking. <laughs> Vicki Lemire is here saying hello. Hi, Vicki. Darlene says I contacted the Gamble dealer for my area, wanted some info and help. I guess they didn't take me seriously. Well, never could get the lady on the phone left messages and bought my handy quilter it's a lot that has changed since um gamma was sold and the funny thing is it was not like it was like publicly known that they were selling it just kind of happened like they didn't really notify people and then all of a sudden we started getting uh i think they did the transition and put the people in place and still didn't tell us because i was like thinking in my head <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad I ain't gonna even say it but I was thinking a whole lot in my head and then um I realized okay these are the new owners I guess I gotta put up with it <laughs> so yeah but um that's just sad and I think it's if you, it could have been that that could have been a place where they taking their gamble too taking their gamble um privileges so you know and it's really bad i think with the with the store that was here gamo had put the machine in the store so they even came and picked up the gamo machine if i'm not mistaken so they didn't even after all those years of selling gamo and i'm talking about like uh 30 plus years of selling gamos they actually took the machine as well 
just weird. So, Teresa Louise, I quote, two is here. Hi to you. She says, hello, dear friends. <laughs> AccuQuilt is having 30% off when 100 or more is purchased. I thought if you use the code, it was a code that you could use today. Summer 30, I thought. I thought it didn't, you didn't have to have a, a total. But I could be mistaken because it's been so much going on. I could have missed that little detail. But you all check and make sure. If you do buy, make sure you use my link. My affiliate link is available all the time. <laughs> and it doesn't cost you any more and you still get your discounts. I haven't been talking about them a lot just because I've been busy. Oh, the other thing that I keep forgetting to do is to go to my desktop because I haven't been doing any desk work and releasing the video that I was supposed to release on Sunday about fabric softening. I keep forgetting it is. It's already uploaded and everything. I just need to go in there and do the fine tweaking of what YouTube requires us to do as far as making it... Um, accessible and then putting my end screens and stuff on it so i just need to do a couple things i just i'm not at my desk so i keep forgetting but i do need to do that um <laughs> sue says can't wait for you and kevin to do your programs and workshops again um I don't know about Kevin right now. Kevin's um, working. <laughs> and Kevin's also working in his studio. But I am scheduled to do quite a few gills in the area. I know I got St. Clair. I can't remember all of them. I'm actually teaching at the Missouri State Quilt Retreat in October. I do know that. And I got about, I know I'm going to Columbia, Missouri. And uh, my other locations, my areas, I can't remember where they are. So I'm just blocking the areas. But I've got about four or five people got me booked already. <laughs> and I don't even know if I'm happy about it for the most part. We'll see. I'll, I said I'm going to schedule for this year and next year. And then if I don't find it uh, exciting or if I find it cumbersome, then I'm not going to schedule anymore. So we'll see if I'm going to continue to do uh, lectures. I do like teaching, but the, you know, and I do like giving lectures too, but it's a lot of work. So if, I'm going to see if I still got the mentality to do all that work of pulling all these quilts out of storage, packing them into all these containers, getting a dolly into the car on top of the containers, and then toting all that stuff into the quilt, uh, uh, the quilt meetings or whatever. So it's a lot. We'll see <laughs> how that all works out. Thank you, Tiffany. She's welcoming people into the chat. Yvette Bourne says, hey, T, greetings from Toronto. Hi, Yvette. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you popping in a response to us as well. T. Roberts is here as well saying greetings all. I just bought boxes from Michaels to organize my projects and was surprised at how many I had not completed. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. I have a lot from, because of teaching, but I also have a lot because I have a lot. I'm not, I don't really enjoy quilting per se. I do like working on the long arm, but I rather do, it's, it's weird. I'll quilt somebody else stuff and I still got 50 quilt tops that need to be quilted. It's just crazy. So every once in a while, I'll put some of my tops in so that I can have some finished projects. Because I haven't even shown you all a whole lot of finished projects from me this year. I just haven't been doing them. I've been doing quilt tops. And Teresa says, how are you doing at T-Quilts? I'm doing, I'm doing much better. I put salt back into my diet. <laughs> She must have come in late. Uh, Janet Mackerel says, my batting scraps are way out of control. And that's the one thing that I do have in control is my true things that I would normally throw in the trash because I save all of that for my friend who makes dog beds. And she uses any and everything, even thread tails. I put everything into the bag. And she just uses this as stuffing in the bag. And I even... Uh, put some larger pieces in there 
for her to use as um, outside, uh, uh, outside, you know, to use as fabric for the outside of the bed. I want to say bag so bad. <laughs> and I even found I have some canvas and I do like to keep canvas because I like to use it as a, the inside of totes, even if I'm using stabilizer because it makes them a, stronger. I find they last a little bit longer. But I think I, I'm trying to corral it all together. And then if I have, I'm just going to keep like a yard of each piece of canvas that I have. And then I think I'm going to donate the rest of that to her. And she can really use those for the dog beds. That will be a better fabric instead of using quilting cottons. So, my, Remo says, my mom, she tell you once and then it went in the trash. That's how I did my daughter. If I stepped on her toys after I told her to clean it up, I threw it away. And then she'll come back. Mama, can you buy me some lights for my light bright? I said, nope, I bought that already. <laughs> <laughs> that's a diner you may as well throw that base away <laughs> and I do like Vicky was telling Janet to sew them batting scraps together I do sew some of my batting scraps together but when I sew for other people and they don't want their scraps like if I for the people that I square up their quilts so I have not only mine's but other people's it's too much um, but I do keep like anything larger than like I'd say like 12, 10 to 12 inches. I'll keep that because if if somebody's quilt is a little bit wider than like if I get a 90 inch wide and somebody's quilt is 94, then I'll use that extra piece so that I'm not charging them X for extra batting. So I do do that to help uh, some of my customers out. Uh, Melissa says, your mom's forced labor policy has me wondering about Missouri inmates. Are they choosing to sell? Any interviews? I think, uh, like in those programs, you have to be eligible. I think they said that in the article, if you went through and read the entire thing, that you had to be, um, that you had to have a certain, be on a certain level where you didn't have any, I don't know what they call them because I don't work in corrections, but you couldn't have any um, incidents on your report in order to work there. And I think people wanted to work there because they had one guy that said he would never work there, but then he was some kind of engineer or something and he they needed him to fix a machine and asked him would he do them a favor. And so he fixed the machine and then he ended up becoming one of the quilters. He got hooked. So I... I think in programs like that, you don't have to do that because they have other programs that you can sign up for. Um, quilting is truly one of those luxury things that um, they're not going to let every inmate get into. So I think that most of them there probably wanted to. Brenda Foley is saying good night all. Got to sleep. Good night. I'm like nine minutes behind. I'm sure she's gone. <laughs> People saying good night to Brenda, trying to get through some of this. Elsa Foss says, uh, from Louise in La Cruz, New Mexico. Well, hello, welcome. Uh, correction officers in Tennessee had inmates doing woodworking, then sold the things they made to flea markets, keeping the money for themselves. Did the, uh, the correction officers kept the money or did the institution keep the money i guess that's the big question um so i can see them because i know i worked for the state and our our situations they have a, a furniture thing that they make our furniture they actually make the furniture for the state because when you're um the state was spending a lot of money on furniture when you're talking about as big as Missouri is and how many state buildings they're going to have in all these different cities and towns and rural areas. It was cheaper for them to put in a wood workshop. And you got to remember, just because somebody's in jail doesn't mean that they don't have talents and skills. And then those that don't have it, they can teach the others. And so it was just cheaper. And they don't make anybody do anything. It's like, do you want to work in this field? And it's like, it's almost a great thing because if you got like, say, five years in and then you actually leave jail with a trade, I think it's beneficial for somebody. So it just depends 
on how it's handled. But in Missouri, it's voluntarily, and they have other things that you can do. You can go to groups, you know, and uh, you don't have to go to do an actual job like that. You do have to do some kind of work. So, and I think that's a good thing that they have to go to work because they take part of their money to help pay part of their, for part of their stay. So, and it's the same way in um, mental health. We had clients, we, uh, if, they were if they were able to work, we uh, gave them jobs because they need to know that if you are released, that you need to be able to support yourself. And then part of that money did go to pay for part of their care. And it wasn't a whole lot of the money either because some of them clients, I felt like because they were working, they were richer than I was, I felt like, because they didn't have the high overhead that I had. So I think it's a good thing to make them work. Keep them from getting in trouble. Thank you, C-Rack. She says the cold is summer 30 until midnight for AccuQuilt. Sin says the bulging closet is calling my name. Gotta go. Bye, y'all. It's been fun. Sure she's gone by now. And so Peek says, T, you just talked yourself out of that one laughing out loud. <laughs> Um, I don't have to change my throat plate. That ta that's her talking to, uh, Pink. Sonia Johnson is here saying hi, T and everyone. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. Okay. Tiffany saying that's like me too, T. I have so many tops, but my client quilts come first and I load mines when I can sneak them in. And that's what I did. I put, um... I put one of my quilts, the one from Judy Judy, because that quilt was the one that I was working on when my machine broke in February when I realized it, I mean, it was in the middle of sewing and just malfunctioned and I didn't have time to deal with it at that time. So I really want to get that quilt completed. And it was difficult to put a quilt that's computerized quilted, number one, and number two, that the batting, because all those stitches had to be taken out, so stuff started stretching and um yeah <laughs> it was not a pleasant thing to do uh, between the ripping which my dear friend kevin did and then me reloading it and having the weight of that batting because i had to flip everything back it was a lot of stretching going on and so it, it was not the most pleasant thing i have ever done but i at least got it done so i'm glad that it's done <laughs> But that's how I do, too. And to, uh, Teresa, I see. She says, I did come in late. Janice says, batting scraps are great on the Swifter. Cam saying, good night, Cam. Good night. I'm sure she's gone already, too. Um, Eric Oda just coming in saying, hello. I'm late to the party again. And thinking that him coming in, uh, we did have Zoom on Sunday. It was a pretty good Zoom. We had... I don't know, maybe 15, 16 people, something like that. I'm just guessing. But it was a good Zoom. I'm skipping some of the comments because we'll have about 200 of them saying hi to Eric. <laughs> Amelia Rubio says, hello, Misty and everybody. Miss, I think she keeps, she, I think when it's come out, Misty, I to type in Miss T and the keyboard's correcting her. And she says, thank you for keeping me company while I sew. Well, you're welcome. Kevin's gone. I'm getting a little bit close. I'm not too many minutes behind. I'm catching up. Next time we meet for books, I could use some scraps and strings, please. I'll tell you what, I would most definitely get you some strings. I don't know if I'm going to go through scraps anytime soon, but I can meet you anytime and give you some strings because those are already sorted, so it would be no problem. I can meet you Sunday and give you some strings, girl. <laughs> Melissa says, it was in the news the officers profited. They justified it by saying they were chipping in on the expenses of the program. I just don't think that would fly in the state of Missouri. They don't play that here. <laughs> uh, you would be fired. Taking one dime from a client or that's involving, uh, or what well, we say clients because we were in mental health, 
but it applied across the state. They wouldn't even play that. Jeremiah says, hi, Miss T and all. Happy to see you are doing better. Have you tried to reach me about my order? This is Lois Brown. No, I have not. It's sitting on my desk. I do need to contact you. What I don't understand is I couldn't read your writing to know what you wanted on your shirt. That's the problem. I have your uh, press set and your re ripper replacement ready and out. I just have not done the shirt. So I do need to call you. So sorry about that. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> uh, Lynette says, sell some of it to us. Maybe I'll bring a bag in here one day and then just start selling stuff. And just, my thing is like selling it in, it's, it's going to have to be like, like a medium postage box. And that's my problem. It's like, because you almost need something flat rate if I'm going to stuff a box with stuff. And to make it worth your while to pay the shipping. Because it's, it's just ridiculous. So I don't know. You all tell me. You send me that and tell me what you would pay for a medium shipping box with the shipping. I think the box to ship is like fifteen fifty something like that. I can't remember. I have to... I think it's fifteen fifty to ship a medium shipping box, and that's why I never tried to re try to sell that stuff to you all. So Pink's leaving says I'm going to have to say good night. Catch you all later. This Ethernet uh, keeps going in and out, and I'm only catching pieces of conversations. Um, Kathy Quilts and Crafts is here. Did I miss that before? She says, hi, everyone. I did. Sorry about that, Kathy. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you popping into the comment section. Saying she's hurting at the moment. I did a lot of rehab. Well, hopefully you'll be feeling better, Kathy. And I don't know if that's the Kathy you all were talking about. I thought it was the other Kathy. So good to know that you're feeling better. <laughs> Remo says, what happens in Zoom stays in Zoom. Right. Sheila Willis is here saying, hello, TN Quilters. On my way back to Sacramento in the car now and watching. That's nice. She was saying she's on vacation, which Sheila is a hardworking person, so she need a, a vacation. So it's pretty cool. Strings would be great Sunday round four. I can meet you Sunday at four. At our normal spot, that'll be fine. Sell mystery bundles. That's Deborah Sims Brown. That's a good idea, too. Just box them up. And these are, most of this stuff is like good quality stuff. It's just like, I'm just tired of looking at this stuff. Uh, well, it's not even the fabric that's the problem. I'm just tired of looking at it out of place. <laughs> It's not like the fabric isn't good fabric. But I'm just trying to pull some stuff to see, like, I don't have a whole lot of it in here. It's actually in the back room. Like, there is nothing wrong with these two pieces of fabric. And I can use them in any project. But it's like, you got enough. <laughs> And that was just sitting on top of the box. So, yeah, and I got like, I got at least three large bags of stuff. It's ridiculous. And that's not including the strings, okay? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, we'll have a binding party. Oh, a bidding party. That's uh, Melissa. That's <laughs> That's funny. And June says 20 to 30. And see, and that's what I'm saying, that I'm making like $25. I mean, I'm making $10 and mailing less than $10, really, because I think the to mail a medium-sized box is $15.50. And then it's like all my time and my fabric, and I got to still make labels and take it all to the post office. It's like, it ain't worth it. It's just, 
<laughs> I'll just, you know, it's easier sometimes to just donate or give it away. So Sheila Willis says, where were you going from back from Sacramento? Where were you talking to Sheila, I guess? Uh, I don't, you know, Diane, you giving her information, but I think she's left. I'm hoping she saw all of this, but she says she was leaving. Don't have any books ready. Magazine. I don't want any magazines because uh, that's just too much. <laughs> uh, my Gill can't even get rid of magazines. But I'm also, let me call, I'll call my Gill person and see if she's taking magazines because I know I don't want magazines. But I'll check with her. But you don't have to bring me anything, Sue. Don't bring a thing. <laughs> Do not bring a thing. I'm bringing you stuff. Uh, Blue Dog says, hi, from Australia. Hope you are doing okay over in the U.S. I am. Most of us are. So thank you so much for asking. Lynette Williams says, I'll pay shipping. Miss T, sell us some. So, one half price books takes magazines. That's from C Rex. So, yeah. So, like I said, I don't have anything to talk about. We've just, I've read comments, answered questions, and app lived for an hour. <laughs> I guess <laughs> you all are pretty good in the chat. So, you all give me something to talk about you all help me change the topics and stuff so give me things that I can say um I don't know I'm trying to think what I want to do for next week as far as a topic on Tuesday but I don't even know if I'll have a topic for then either because I'm doing this and then I'm going to be actually quilting uh doing a binding on those quilts so maybe we'll talk about Next week, since I'm going to be doing quilt labels, is what should we put on quilt labels? Maybe that'll be our topic next time. So, Melissa says, if you load 10 boxes at a time and pay $155 for posters, you would need to make, and then she was saying like 30, uh, I think 30 of boxes, what she was saying, yeah. So, I have to see. I'll see if, I, when I finally get to that, I'm not doing that until after I come back from um, with Kevin because we're going to be doing shop hopping we're doing the Iowa shop hop and we're gonna Kevin's is very prolific and has a lot of quilt shops on this list so I'm interested I'm not gonna even give you all the number we're just gonna do it I might do a some videotaping like so I can upload a video since we're gonna be gone so many days instead of one day here and another day there I tend to not uh, videotape when I'm with Kevin because I'm just enjoying the moment and it's so weird because everywhere else I go when I go to quilt shows or go go someplace I'm I'm recording so it's weird that when I go with Kevin I leave it up to him he does a little bit of recording and then he might do a couple pictures but all of that tends to go over to the Facebook side so maybe I'll do a little bit of recording on the journey so we'll be leaving on the 27th of uh, July headed to Iowa for the shop hop it would take us approximately well from my house it would take me approximately three and a half to four hours to make it to the first shop from Kevin's house it's about two and a half hours to get there but I also got to pick Kevin up so I'm gonna pick Kevin up and then we're gonna start heading out Eric, you so bad, somebody, and you wonder how we go uh, for three plus hours on Zoom. And it's way, always more than three plus hours. My iPad ran out because I forgot to charge it when I first, I forgot to put the charger in when I first went into Zoom. I'm just so happy to see people and I'm wrapping fabric and then I look up and get a notification and they kicked me out. It, I had like 10%, but it took another hour for me to use that 10% as it was charging. But Zoom takes a lot of power out of your devices. But that's funny. Wind Sprinter came in and says, hello, everybody. Susan, thanks so much. No, my pleasure. I will definitely bring you some strings. No big deal. I'll get a Joann's bag. <laughs> and I don't even care right now if I like wipe out my whole string container because I'm always making strings. It's ridiculous. 
So get ready soon. I'm going to give you a bag. <laughs> um, and uh, hold on. Are you going? Are you gone this Saturday? No. Well, you know what? I have people in my house, but they'll be gone by the time I go live on Saturday. And most times when you're the hostess and they're at your house, you don't do any sewing. So I'll come in here and press this stuff that I haven't pressed. <laughs> I got the fabric for uh, my quilt and I got the patriotic stuff waiting to be pressed. Haven't pressed anything since uh, Friday and I can't even sew on anything until I do some pressing. Um, Eric says that he's about to upload a video on YouTube about the Kansas City uh, Regional Quilt Show, Quilt Festival on his channel. How about getting those old UFOs out and finishing them? Who? Me? I'm not getting anything out right now. I got projects I'm working on. I got four, five quilts, three t-shirt quilts, the patriotic quilt. Uh, the Judy Judy quilt, fabric quilt, and I actually got another one, the one that I did for uh, GE Designs that I shouldn't even have done, okay? I got five, six things in my face right now. I don't need another thing to get me distracted. I have a very short attention span, I tell you. Is Kevin getting that pound cake? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm making it or not. We'll see. It's something to think about. And Diane said that she got so sick on Sunday she missed the Zooms. No problem. I know Tiffany was still live, too. I saw she was live over two hours, so I know a lot of you all were over there. Um, MT says, hi. Hi to you as well. Does your Joann's carry scrap bags? Mine doesn't, and I'm trying to figure out if I'm the Long Ranger. My Joann's... Uh, does not sell scrap bags. I'm giving somebody some scraps in a Joann's bag because I got plenty of them. <laughs> I pulled up all kinds of bags. So I took a tissue box and started putting the bags inside of a, a empty tissue box. I took those tissues out and put them into another box. And so then I could put bags in a tissue box just to make it easier to dispense. And uh, that's what I was talking about. They don't sell scraps at Joann's. Sue Ann Ballard is here saying hi T from Idaho. Hello, Sue. Rhonda Barlow says hello T and everyone. Let's hit the thumbs up. 83 watching, only 58 thumbs up. Thank you. You could give away some of that fabric as prizes. Yeah, and then, um, you know, you all say that. <laughs> I have been giving things out. I've been giving a lot of things out. I actually have stuff back here that I have pulled to give as prizes. But you also also got to remember that I'm one individual and I personally feel like I do a lot for my tea quilters. You all do a lot for me. I feel like I also reciprocate. Um, I don't tell you all everything that I do for tea quilters. Uh, some people might um, every once in a while up and receive something from me just out the blue. It just depends on what's going on in my life and how much time I have and um, but I do things for my tea quilters all the time. I just gave out not even a month ago 10 prizes that I paid all the shipping for. So it's, I do a lot. And that was $80, no, $100 in shipping because, no, it was $80 because I sent everything priority mail and I think it was all $8 each. So I do a lot for tea quilters too. So it's not like I don't do anything where I don't give out any prizes. I can't, I'm a small thing. I can't, I'm a small business. I'm not a small thing. I'm a small business and I can only afford to fork out so many dollars um, to do prizes with. So. And Betsy's even asked me, did you, oh, did you finish the Hey June? No, I haven't finished it. I haven't even done the remainder blocks. I got the fabrics over here ready to be stitched. 
and I realized that I forgot to cut one of the fabrics because I need to make cut the green fabric for the block. So then I got sidetracked. So I haven't finished it. Middleton's Hobby Farm says good evening. Hello to you. We're not even supposed to still be on here right now. <laughs> it's after 8 o'clock. And Tiffany saying, yeah, I was on long Sunday, then went straight to lay down after I wore myself out sewing. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Enjoy what you do, and then you can take a break. Jill says, I want to see your... I want to see your YouTube too, Eric. Um, uh, I like to see it. Also, people are asking, uh, Eric, Lynette Williams says, well, Linda's the only dealer in our area. Yeah, and I don't know if you're on her email list, but I got my notice this morning. I was surprised when I woke up this morning and that was there. Uh, Sandra Agra says, Woo, I made it. Hugs to all. <laughs> well, if you need any help in getting rid of any more scraps, I would be happy to take a drive. That was, <laughs> I gave her a box of stuff too. She even had fabric on boats. Uh, cause I, uh, I had some older Christmas fabrics that I was saving to put on backs of quilts. Um, I just got tired of using them on the front, you know, when they first came out with Christmas fabric. I'm gonna, I started quilting in 1994, and I bet you they probably had about 200 quilt fabrics total for Christmas. And every year they came out with the same fabrics, year after year after year, and it was ridiculous. And so I just, I just got tired of looking at them. Hold on. Who is this? Diane says, I was talking about next Tuesday's topics, maybe a way to organize those UFOs to fit them into our busy schedules. Oh, she's talking about UFOs. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me go back because I'm confused. Yeah, because I have like my, and I have even looked at my projects to see if I want to keep anything or some of the stuff, like the blocks are all sewed, and I'm like, don't get rid of them if the blocks are all sewed, because I don't normally put stuff up unless the blocks are sewed. And I go, if the blocks are sewed, I don't care how the quilt looks, I just sew the stuff together and it can be a charity quilt. So I do charity quilts for both of my quilt gills, so I'm like, well, those are your charity quilts, so don't get rid of those, I don't have to start from scratch. So it's always, you know, something over nothing when you're trying to do stuff um and Rhonda says that's a lot of money for shipping and the reason why I sent everything priority is because the United States Postal Service if you send it regular mail people are not getting all the mail so I didn't want somebody to win a prize and then they not get their prize because I sent it just regular mail and then it never arrived if I sent the first class mail. So we've been having issues with the post office right now. And so that's why I've been sending even my orders. My customers are paying extra money in shipping because of me having to send everything priority. So when I'm sending out prizes, I don't then decide I'm going to send your stuff first class mail. <laughs> and you get it if you get it. And if you don't, you don't. So I'm trying to, you know, if I have you pay for it, I'm trying to make sure that I do the same. So. Sandra's laughing at me when she came in. We know you do a lot for at T Quilts. You're a great, generous person. Well, thank you, Teresa. And Diane says, sorry, I will pay shipping. MT says, I would like to get into embroidery. I can't make up my mind about a brand. Any recommendations for me to consider? And I, I just personally think if you're entry level into embroidery, I just think brother over Bernina is an easier system to learn for machine embroidery. And that's just me personally, you know. <laughs> uh, Miss T, your Bernina has an update. Yeah, I saw that. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't even had time to do that. And the funny thing is I had just ordered new USBs so that I can uh, designate one just for my updates. They had come in from Amazon on the same day that Jeff was talking about we have an update for the Berninas, but I haven't done that yet. Oh, thank you, Virgie. That's so really, that's so nice of you. She sent $10 super chat. Thank you so much. But, uh, let's see. 
Evelyn French says, hi T, just tuned in, heard you speak about your mailing charges, and I want to tell you that you are very generous, and I know I appreciate that I appreciate watching you, so thank you so much. Yeah, it's not like I don't mind paying stuff, but I know I did prizes in December. I did prizes uh, about, a I know like a month ago, I did like 10 prizes. I had 10 things. And then I also am still collecting stuff um, for my birthday bash at the end of the month. And I'm not even sure how I'm even going to give that stuff away. I have to even think about that. So I don't know. And then I also gave out stuff. At my birthday, when I turned 10 years last year, I think I gave out stuff then, too. I'm always giving out stuff when I get a chance to do it. If I'm not working really hard, then I can start giving stuff out. But I also, that wasn't even a prize. I sent out, like, bags and boxes of scraps to people um, between April and May when, when I was... Um, starting to first pull this stuff out and that's when i thought i had gone through everything i didn't realize that i hadn't even touched everything i thought i was at the end <laughs> so that was too funny that i uh thinking i'm done with the purging all i got to do is like put this stuff up right thinking i'm into sort mode and then here i come with these extra bags i'm like oh my god i can't <laughs> i can't i can't uh. I'm always confused. That's Sue Ann to laughing out loud. T here is so very late. Hi, everyone. We had guild meeting outside. That's nice that they have it because we still haven't gotten our guilds or the it's our church facilities to open up for groups like us because we have so many people and it's kind of difficult to do actual social distancing like sitting three chairs apart. It's just not going to happen. So <laughs> that's funny. Post office problems where I live too. Yeah, and I would really hate for somebody not to get their stuff. And then I feel like the post office are a little bit more diligent when they know that it's priority mail and that if it's lost, they're going to have to come out at least with 50 bucks. So that keeps them from, they make sure that they get that package delivered. Sandra says, baby lock over Bernina. I love Bernina 790 and still don't understand all this function. Diane says, we love all that you do, teeth. 100. Thanks, Diane. <laughs> oh, Teresa Louise, thank you. She sent the super chat to help him with shipping or just buy coffee. <laughs> uh. And Remo says biking Ruby for both. Um, and like I said, I, I have never sold on a Viking. I've just taught at a Viking shop and I just hated the sounds of the biking machines. And that's a personal... Anything in quilting is always going to be a personal thing because everybody is going to have different opinions. And I'm not saying anybody's is wrong. Everybody is right because people believe in the brand of machines that they uh, sell. So if you ask somebody what kind of machine, what should I get? They're going to tell you the one that they have the best that they've ever sold on, which is going to be different from the best that somebody else has sold on. Uh, I have never sewn on a Viking. I've never sewn on a uh, Foth or Janome. So those three machines I've never sewed on. And I've never sewn on an industrial sewing machine either. So just exp our experiences kind of dictate where we're going to uh, push people when, you, when you're asking about an open-ended question on what kind of machines should somebody buy. So... June says, you do more for us than some do, but I would pay shipping plus. So it's okay because you are a great person and you give out things all the time. Hugs to you. Well, thank you. Every now and then, Tiff, that's the <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> Sue says, good night. Thanks for everything. Good night. I'll see you Sunday. I'll make sure I put it on my calendar so I don't forget. And... Uh, and Remo says, I love your honesty. Yes, I try to always be fair. That's my first thing is I always try to be fair. And I try to treat you all and anybody that I come into how I would want to be treated. So I'm always trying to be uh, fair. Um, and Sue Ann is saying, Diane, I know your name. <laughs> Bertie says, T, I do appreciate and enjoy the chats. I'm going to pack up fabrics and take to Goodwill. 
I'm just tired of looking at them and, and not doing anything with them. And, um, I mean, sometimes the easiest thing for somebody to do is just to donate it, get rid of it. I mean, and I have no qualms with that. <laughs> uh, you just have to decide. Um, <laughs> and she says, don't worry, I won't miss them as I have plenty left. Yeah, because I'm finna go in here and I'm finna pull out these scraps. It's like I haven't touched some of these uh, strings. I mean, not scraps, these strings for um, uh, Sue. Sue has donated books that I've been uh, giving out to people. Uh, and I even got some slated, put put aside for the Tea Quilts Retreat. And it's like, you know, I, I don't mind giving her something. She has donated to Tea Quilts, giving you all something. So... That's why I don't mind meeting up with her and giving her something. But sometimes it's just easier for people to just get rid of stuff because by the time you wait for somebody or you package stuff up and as you keep touching stuff, you like, you start back getting attached to it, you know? But Goodwill Sales, I just donate to schools, 4-H and Girl Scouts. And that's why I said maybe she want to check with her Department of Corrections and see if they make quilts for uh, foster children. Because I think uh, Missouri has a nice... Uh, Thing. I've made quilts for uh, the quilts that we donated. I went to the home because at first I was making those quilts for the um, ladies that were um, abused women. And then when I went there, they said that they had a lot of donations and they don't have as many women because they have a whole program that they have to promote them through, which could take a year and a half to two years. And so they had like a whole room full of fleece blankets, crochet blankets, quilts. Um, what else did they have? I'm trying to make sure I covered everything. Fleece, crochet, knitting. That's what I'm missing. And so they said right now they just didn't need any more. And so then I took them to the children's home right before Christmas so that they could give them out as Christmas gifts, and put new bedding on the beds. And so they were really, really appreciative. So I just love if somebody is doing something for children, abuse women, um, pregnant teens, anything like that, I think it's just great. I know we do Quilts of Valor, um, but I just, you know, there are other organizations too that uh, need quilts that you wouldn't even think about. So, strings will be new to UT if you have not used them for a while. Yep, but I, you know what, I have strings from stuff <laughs> that's 10 years old. It's like I can't get rid of them, so I'm happy to give some away. Um, and Diane saying she wants to make one of those three yard quilts. My girl makes quilts for foster kids, babies. I love doing that. Yep. I love it that there are groups that use them. Yeah. So anytime. And then we also have like a charity charity or something like that. I can't remember how they word that organization. You might want to look that up. They have organizations that like if people like they take stuff free and then what they do is they sort it. And then if they have an organization that says um, that are making knitted blankets for kids, then they'll say, can we take all of your yarn or take some yarn? And so then they'll say, how much do you need? And then they'll put it out on their porch or wherever they're located, because mostly the stuff is stored at some person's home. So they'll put a bag out on the porch with your name on and then you just come pick it up. So there are organizations that do that too, and um, you can uh, get fabrics that way to do um, donations with. They ask you, like, what are you doing with it, and, you know, the uh, so forth, and then they do donate like that. So it's all free. Nothing is uh, for pay. We do quilts for local women's shelter and preemie quilts. And Deborah says, how do we use 108, lengthwise or widthwise? I put the, it depends on how I'm loading my quilt. When I load onto the quilt frame, I put the salvage on my quilt frame. So that's how I use it. So then it would be, it depends on the length and the width. So <laughs> it doesn't matter which way it's laying on the quilt top. So uh, if my quilt is not square, then I will put the longest part of it on my frame and then quilt it from there. Otherwise, I put the top 
to the lengthwise because it's on my machine. Most of my queen size quilts that I make for myself, they're 96 inches square. And so I just put my top up there. So it doesn't matter in the end though. And um, Diane says, I like to give scrappy quilts to homeless veterans. Pretty cool. And we have a, a veterans home by me. I keep saying I was going to go in there and see if they needed quilts. Because I heard that the veterans need like smaller type quilts. Because if they're in wheelchairs, that it's not like hanging. So you just a little bit bigger than a baby, but not quite as big as a lap. So I said I need to go in and check on that too. Because that's about five minutes from my house. So I can go check on that. And that'll be quicker place to donate to as well. And you can make smaller quilts. So, all right, guys, we're almost another half hour in. I'm going to go ahead and end here. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, again, on the week, on Tuesday, I'm leaving to go on the Iowa Shop Hop. So there will not be, I don't know if there's going to be a Tuesday live. It depends on if we're in a hotel at that point or not, if we're out eating. Maybe we'll just do a brief uh, live with Kevin and I while we're out maybe Tuesday. We'll see. <laughs> so just keeping you all uh aware that there may not be a tuesday chat but it could be just be a quick one you know if we're in a hotel room um on that saturday is when i'm gonna do a birthday bash and so um i don't know exactly what i'm doing right now but we'll see when it happens <laughs> no i might just be sitting here from that trip and just be sitting here just like i'm sitting here now just chatting and talking but I'll be here with you on the Saturday live sewing chat, the last Saturday of the month. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say good night to everybody. You all stay blessed, be safe, and quilt out, everybody. Enjoy your week.